Today I wanted to do a little at home video and talk about my first trimester system. Uh, I can't even speak. This is a pregnancy cookbook in Japan and some of the meals in here are so surprising. I'm constantly hungry but when I'm hungry I'm like extremely nauseous. This video is sponsored by Sakurako and Tokyo Treat. Hello everyone. So we're gonna try to vlog today. I don't know how this video is gonna go. The next video after this one is actually going to be everything that we've gone through prior to this day. But today I wanted to do a little at home video and talk about my first trimester system. Uh, I can't even speak. My first trimester symptoms. There's not a lot of people vlogging on based on real time, and this is real time. I am eight weeks and two days today. I'm so out of breath, <laughs> that's one of the symptoms. So you're gonna see a lot of like symptoms being caught on camera throughout the day. I'm already feeling nauseous again. I ate breakfast and I felt really good at first, and it doesn't last it. Like after 30 minutes to an hour, I just feel like I wanna vomit. And I hiccup whenever I feel like I need to. It's such a wild experience, but trying to put myself together today because I actually have not dressed up in like the longest time. Like this is the first time like I'm actually wearing like real clothes. I was wearing like sweats all the time. I mean, these are kind of like still sweats, but like mostly like my regular clothes and not my pajamas. Um, I'm wearing those today and I put makeup on for the first time in like three or four days. My days have consisted of being a couch potato, watching Netflix, and I'm terrified and one of my biggest fears is getting fat and overweight. <laughs> I'm already over the weight that I should be, so I'm trying to be very, very careful with my diet and gaining too much weight. I know you have to gain weight though, um, and you naturally gain weight because I didn't know this, but your blood volume like increases, so you get a lot heavier because of your blood increase. I don't even know if I said that right. And because of that, you're very winded. I'm just constantly out of breath. I feel like I have so much to say and I can't put it all in one video. And I know there's a lot of questions and I will be making like a full on video about the differences of being pregnant in Japan versus America. I think America has a lot more luxuries compared to Japan when it comes to um, pregnancy and things like that, but it's much cheaper here to give birth and I do feel very supported and very safe here. Um, I have good doctors, there's um, a great system put in place, especially for afterbirth, so I'm really impressed with those things, but there's a lot of like conveniences in the States that we don't have here in Japan, so that's what I'm noticing, but I'll talk about that in like its own video. I think that it deserves its own video. Anyway, I can't wait to show you guys you know, the products that we buy, the things that we buy. Um, we're gonna do like a baby shower and a gender reveal and all those things. I would love to know what you guys think the gender is gonna be. I'm saying boy because my husband keeps saying girl. Like I'm okay with having both or any, any. oh my God, please don't be twins. Um, I don't think it's twins. <laughs> I, I think my, my doctor would have called that by now. I'm okay with either gender. We do have names that we've picked out, which I'll talk about in another video. But yeah, let me, let me know, don't, but don't say things like, you know, I hope or I wish, um, because I, I want my kids to see these videos someday and they might read the comments or something and be like, oh, everybody wished it was a boy. I'm not a boy, my girl. Like, just say like, um, oh, I think, or um, I'm guessing it's a boy or a girl. And yeah, you guys will find out at the gender reveal video. So I need to take a, take a break now. <laughs>
so proud of myself because I made a salad. Um, I had some lettuce in the fridge that would probably go back to bad tomorrow. So unfortunately, the other thing is Japan's food does not last as long as American food. Um, maybe it's because it has less preservatives, but I'm, I have a lot of faith that a lot of things are very fresh here, which I really, really love. I did order some pasta from Uber Eats. So I have this like tomato cream pasta and a salad. I almost got the garlic rolls, but I'm like, no, I don't need any more carbs. My stomach is screaming at me to eat, even though I ate like literally an hour and a half ago. My baby's like, feed me. So I'm constantly hungry, but when I'm hungry, I'm like extremely nauseous. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and then I'm going to meal prep for tomorrow because I do have some food that needs to be cooked today. And that is some chicken, and I'm gonna make the beef stroganoff um, sauce for tomorrow because we're gonna have that for lunch and dinner. It'll make tomorrow a little bit easier because um, we're gonna do some cleaning and we have an, our, our appointment at 3 p.m. So it's just gonna make things a lot easier for us if everything's already prepped and uh, my husband doesn't have to go out and get something. So I'm gonna do that when I feel good after eating. Okay, so my phone died, it says that my cart is full. <laughs> but I was just gonna say that all the cleaning and cooking has not been done properly. We got a new table so and we're getting rid of some things and we're trying to organize and clean out, but I've been so sick so I haven't been able to do it. I have a lot of projects, you guys, and you're gonna come with me on this journey of like reorganizing, creating a, a space for the baby, revamping. My office is turning into a bedroom and nursery. Um, because we have a very small place, so my office is goodbye. But I haven't had much time to clean everything, so it's just a big mess in here, you guys. It's a huge mess. So I got everything. I still need to charge my camera. <laughs> but I got everything completed. This is for dinner tomorrow. The only ingredient that I'm missing is cream of mushroom soup. I'm just gonna dump it into a pan tomorrow, cook it with the cream of mushroom and noodles, and it's gonna be like a easy beef stroganoff. And then I have the taco meat, which is good for quesadillas tomorrow. So we have lunch and dinner made tomorrow to make it so much easier on ourselves. interrupt this program to bring you some exciting boxes this month from Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. If you don't know what they are, these boxes are subscription Japanese snack boxes. Tokyo Treat has more seasonal, limited edition, modern day snacks and candy, and the Sakura Co box has more of a traditional taste where you'll get a variety of authentic Japanese snack items that include some Japanese tea and my favorite, a homeware item within your box. For this month's themes, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co both have zucchini themes with a special box design. Tsukimi or moon viewing is a Japanese festival for the autumn moon in September, expressing gratitude for good harvest and hoping for another good year. Tokyo Treat invites you to join them in celebrating Tsukimi through the moon festival Munchies Box, which contains a variety of seasonal and exclusive Japanese snacks inspired by Tsukimi. This includes the salt lemon Kit Kat, Nikon Mochi, and full moon Pone Crackers. Meanwhile, Sakura Ko celebrates Tsukimi through its Kyoto Moon Festival Box. Partnering with the local Kyoto government, they invite you to experience the cultural and culinary rich snacks of Kyoto, the birthplace of Japan's Tsukimi celebration. All snacks pair excellently with Gion Tsujiri Hojicha tea in this month's box. Unfortunately, I can't try the tea because I am pregnant and I can't drink a certain amount of caffeine, but I can tell you that hojicha tea, which is roasted green tea, is probably one of my favorite types of tea in Japan. So I am like super, super excited about these. Like they're animal crackers and they're like frosted. I have to try these. These are so freaking cute. I used to eat animal crackers all the time when I was a kid. I'm not even craving sweets and I open this bag and I'm just like, it smells like childhood. Oh my God. I'm not even craving sweets. Pregnancy dessert right here. I love how it says like the allergens on here in the book. It tells you what it may contain and the allergens of it. Yeah, my husband's gonna love the Kyoto Hojicha Latte Pudding. So I'm excited to give that to him today. So these are from the Tokyo Treat Box and they're just little mochi snacks. Mmm. This is so like nostalgic as well. Like it tastes like one of those like orange ice cream pops that you see when I was a kid. Mmm. This is by far 
like my favorite box. Mm. Use the code Kelly to get $5 off your first Sakurako box or Tokyo Treat box. Just so you guys know, the stuffed animal behind me is from a crane game that we got. We play a lot of crane games when we're out. Um, it was a while ago. We have a pink hamster behind me. I've been trying to drink way more water. I do have a question though. I have struggled with severe asthma since I was a kid. And ever since I had COVID, I my lungs have never been the same. It's It's been a life-changing thing for me when it came to COVID. My lungs are just very different. My asthma got forever worse. <laughs> I am currently taking asthma medication, Advair. And according to my aunt who is a nurse and my best friend who is a pharmacist in the States, and my doctor, Advair is okay for pregnancy and safe for pregnancy. But I'd just love to hear if anybody, any moms out there have asthma too and have taken Advair as well in Japan. It's called Adaware. So I'm just curious if anyone has struggled with asthma during their pregnancies and how that was for you. I'm a little nervous about it. It just helps to hear like other people's experiences that, you know, are similar to you. Like even food allergies and intolerances and like stuff like that through pregnancy. That's always scary for me. The last two things I really wanted to share, this video is like more of like an update video. I feel like I am, this is probably like so boring. I feel like I'm gonna have a multitude of these boring vlog, vlogs of like being at home and just like basically doing nothing, especially in the first trimester. You know, that's how pregnancy is. I do feel like dressing up helped a lot just by feeling more human and walking around the house and like doing something instead of laying all day. It does make me feel a little bit better. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this ultrasound. I don't know if you can see it. Is this the right way? I think it's the right way. But you can see the baby, this little tiny dot like right here. This is our little baby. And the day that I was like super scared that something was wrong because I was like, I'm feeling all these pains and these pulls and like tugs. I didn't know if something was wrong. And then we did the ultrasound. It's so funny because he is not used to being at a ladies clinic. This is like his first time going. A lot of ladies clinics, surprisingly in Japan, don't allow husbands in, which is so weird. It's just so freaking weird. So I found one that did. Um, and he was just kind of like nervous about it. And like, so it's just, it's just really funny, just his reactions. Um, he was just like nervous, but like so amazed looking at the ultrasound because you can see the baby and the heartbeat. Oh my God, my camera is dying. You can see the baby and the heartbeat and you got to see this. This is the heartbeat happening right now. Everything was okay. It felt really good. Another thing that I got that I'd like to explore more in future videos before my camera camera dies. I hope it doesn't die now. But this is a pregnancy cookbook in Japan. And some of the meals in here are so surprising. Okay, my camera died, but we can see a little bit better um, inside here. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Like these are all like Japanese dishes for pregnancy and it goes through each trimester, which is kind of interesting. Um, a lot of it has soy, but I can substitute it. Um, but it all looks so good, like sukiyaki. Um, so I'm probably gonna go through this book and just like earmark the ones that look really good to me. And like my husband and I can pick some meals and we can make some this week. But I thought it was really interesting to share. Everything looks so good in this cookbook. But literally that's what Japanese women do. They don't get these like frozen meals. They just make everything from scratch, even though they're feeling like super sick and tired. <laughs> it's so insane, but um, yeah, I just thought this was really cool. And my husband bought this one for me. So, cause I was like interested in like Japanese pregnancy recipes. So maybe we'll try a couple in the next upcoming vlogs, but. I am about to play some video games and just relax and sit on the couch. I'm starting to feel really sick again. The pasta kind of sustained me for like a couple hours, um, two or three hours. So that's good, but now I'm just like feeling nauseous. I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog for now. I have a few projects that I wanna do when it comes to organizing things. We're gonna do like a big Daiso haul. We're gonna turn my room into like a, uh, my office space into our bedroom and baby space and just kind of get everything organized and cleaned in the kitchen and just get ready for baby. Like <laughs> this is just insane. Anyway, trust my body. I believe in it. I 
know that everything's going as planned. It was so, it was such a relief to hear the heartbeat and see the baby. And tomorrow is the next appointment. So crossing my fingers that everything is gonna be okay. I will see you guys in the next video.